what is going on guys Alex here with another market watch video today for you guys I have ghost rare from ghost of the past market watch and some side deck options or main deck options or techs that might help you beat the new best deck of the format which is gonna be dragon link featuring of course dragonities currently in love with dragonities I think they're gonna be a deck that to be scared of and I'm calling right now right now Dragon's Ravine 2-1 in the next ban list. I'm calling it now. I'm just calling it now for what it is. Possibly banned, but 2-1. Uh, I'm just saying. Calling that thing now 2-1. I also have Ghosts from the Past uh, openings happening tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. So I'm going to be uploading videos for you guys so you guys can watch that. Watch us uh, open some Ghost Surprise. Hopefully pull the Ghost Rare. I know the ratios are saying that it's not even a Ghost Rare per case, but hopefully our case... Um, brings us one and stuff and etc etc so let's get started I'm not trying to take too much of you guys time remember like comment subscribe help your boy make it you know we're still on we're still unemployed so that sucks for the moment uh, looking for a job at the moment but you guys can help me change that if you guys subscribe and watch my videos and etc etc so do as you wish and let's get started so right now blue us alternative white dragon which I want three of because I'm a fan of blue eyes uh, beat down deck um, they're currently like $500 and that is tempting for me to buy my playset um, of course as in anything wait until you know there's a pre-sale price pre-sale prices wait until they dip down a little bit in a week or two and then go in and buy it but if you necessarily need them right away then you know spend the price tag if you have it if you got it like that you got it like that shout outs to Blake because he got it like that I don't know what he got, but he got it. He apparently got it. Um, Dark Magician Ghost Rare, it's $700, which I can understand the fact that Dragoon is still in the format. And people want to flex, you know, their Ghost Rare uh, Dark Magician. You know, um, I understand. Perfectly understand. Uh, we still don't have Firewall, uh, Crystal Wing, and I believe... Oh, man, what was the other card? We forgot already. Mm. I guess it wasn't relevant. It'll come to me later. And the crystal wing firewall and something else. Hmm. It'll come to me later. It'll come to me later. But we got red supernova dragon, which is nineteen dollars for like no reason. I don't think the card is good. I think the card takes a lot of setup. The fact that you need all multiple tuners. Um. I don't think it's a good card, and I don't think it deserves a nineteen dollar price point. Honestly, three tuners. That's and one tuner synchro. Um. Yeah, it banishes. It's like. I don't know. It's like Cerroboros, the Link Monster Level 2. But, I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't see this being $20. I see this dipping down all the way down to 5 And I might pick just the one just to have the one off. But, I don't see it being meta competitive. Now, I do see Dragoon Remus, which people are like expecting this to go up in price. Uh, myself included. I expect, after we get ratios from people, we should get ratios Wednesdays and Fridays. I do expect, depends on ratios, of course. I do expect Remus to probably, depends if it's short printed, a lot or not, I expect this to be $40 eventually, but if it's not, then I can see this dipping down to 15 and probably maintain itself as 15 It all depends how many you're getting in a case, etc, etc. So, for now, 21 is fair, but if I were you guys, unless you need them right now, right now, right now, buy them, but me, myself... And I are waiting until they dip down a little bit. Or at least until I get more information about ratios. Once I get the ratio information, that's when we can talk about that. Evenly matched right now, I have a feeling it's going to be like short printed as crap. So $18 is fair. That's where the, all the other ones are staying at. Galaxy Eye, Cypher X Dragon, something I'm going to pick up later. Not for $13, but maybe for like $7 or $8 after it goes down. Uh, Dragoon Glow for $10. I need a place out of that just because I feel like it's good. This was crazy to me. My mole was like a $10 Ultra when it really doesn't do anything for help you. So Legatus, or Legatus is like $8. Nothing too much. It's pretty much Dragoon that are carrying over the sets. Uh, Vampire Voy Voy Void. I heard from people opening and stuff early and stuff that this is supposed to be short printed. Not a lot of people are getting play sets of this. So something to keep an eye out. This could go higher or it could go lower. It depends what happens there. And after all that, I mean, yeah, the Lava Archers, yeah, I really don't care about those. You know, 
it's pretty much Ragunis carrying the sets. Uh, let's talk about Tri Brigade. How Tri Brigade hasn't done anything good in the top meta decks right now. Um, he got destroyed in the last LCS, I believe it was. I think one of them top, but for the most part, people are prepared for this deck. People can out it pretty easy. It's not their ambors are not oppressive. Yeah, you might have uh, one negate, but like who cares? One negate. You have to have multiple negates in order for you to win. And as in right now, Tribrigate is not doing that. And Frank Tals, for the moment, we can see them lower down all the way to $15. This was the highest point. I saw this at $34. And currently you have them at $15, maybe $20, which is fairly, fairly fair. It's fair. But then again, it's Tribrigate. It's up for reprints later on, Battles of Legend or Megatons. So everything, it's a time clock right now. I know they're going to get more support in Lightning Overdrive. But until that happens, I don't see them go too, too crazy with it. Omen is just a one-off in the extra deck, but that's probably around $15. It's just, it's a good, good monster, but it's, unfortunately, it's just locked in in Tribrigades. Um, after we skip those new sellers, it's pretty much $15, roughly, so. Uh, it's a one-off in the extra deck for most people. Um, it's still going to be a boss monster for them. It's just a link for it's a little bit slower, unfortunately. Uh, besides that, everything else is dirt cheap. So, uh, something that I was recommending uh, back then, pick up was Tribrigate Airborne Assault, the secret, because it's fairly, fairly cheap. I know you have the Ultra, which you want the pre the sneak peek, but if you can't get the sneak peek, you should have got this one. Not people are playing this because it locks you in into their archetype, but. It's it's a night for like a secret for three dollars. I thought it was gonna fair pick up back then. Right now, it is what it is. Uh, Drytron's no Nova. I know people are getting hyped for the new Drytron cards. Of course, they're gonna get the uh, the XYZ. I believe they also get a trap. I believe. Don't quote me on that. And I know they're supposed to get the the fairy monster that was removed from Lightning Overdrive. So we'll see if that goes back in there. Um, if you're thinking of playing Drytron anytime soon or eventually. Uh, if you don't have your Novas, I would kind of recommend them to go get them. As in, like, 27. Maybe they'll dip down a little bit lower. Maybe to 25, as people are more interested in the collector rare market than the actual Novas. Um, if you can get this in a discount, by all means. Uh, eBay, you know, if you can offer someone, hey, 25, that's fairly, you know, 23, around that price range. Or if you can get them from people outside, you know, um, outside you know stores you can get deals like that by all means you know however you want to trade for it but it's if you're thinking of playing dry drones eventually something that you might want to start considering before it's too late and they creep back up to like their 35 to 40 dollar price range price range so there's that uh follow albus has support um but it's Fallen of Albas. I think the new support card is better. I think they're trying to make uh, its own archetype, which is fine. But Albas for like $21, $22, it's fair for what it is. But you should have got this when it was like $5, dude. Like, you should have got this when it was $5. You had a year to flip it and yeah. It's at that right now. But right now would be the time to sell if I were you guys. I already sold all mines. When they hit 17s for the second or third wave of buyouts... And people started releasing them. That's when I sold my uh, Fallen of Alice. I didn't think it was going to go any higher than $20. Uh, made my profit off of it. I was happy with it. Now they're 21 I would highly recommend get rid of them. Just because it does have a reprint. And those cards are not coming until like Dawn of Majesty, I believe. Which is after Lightning Overdrive. Which means it will be like six months from now. So by six months, we should have already a reprint for Alba as, a, as an Ultra in the Megatons. Uh, also in Rise of the Duel, since we're here, win the will the Wild ch Channelier. Um, yeah, this got bought out for like no reason. Um, fairly, the reason is uh, Dragoonies. They're all wins, so you can use this effect. Uh, you can discard this card and one other win monster. Add one win monster for fifteen or less from your deck to your hand, except you know itself, and. For the rest of the turn, you're locked in into wins, so you're pretty much locked into Dragoonides for the most part. You can't do Dragon Link plays because they're all dark, etc., etc. But this searches Remus, which is 1200 attack. So and that searches uh, Dragon's Ravine. That's why this got bought out. Um, it's a nice little starter. If you can't, if you can't search him or you don't have him, it's a way that you can get Remus to your hand right away and Dragoonity. 
uh, Dragons Ravine, sorry, right away. And right now you're looking at, you know, $10 for like six copies. Well, $12 for six copies. And then there are 20. So if you have this, and if you didn't know that, sell these things out, dude. It's a nice little tech card, but I don't recommend it playing Dragoons because you get locked in and wins. Although it's all right, right? But if you get locked in and wins, you can do Chaos Ruler, the chaotic uh, magical dragon. Which this card a while back, it was $10. Dirt, dirt cheap. Uh, really, really good card. Really easy to make. Level 8, tuner, non tuner. Um, if you don't know what this does, this says if this card is Synchro Summon, you can excavate the top 5 cards of your deck. If you do, add one light or dark monster to your hand and then everything else goes to grave. And then, if this leaves a field the same turn, you can banish one or light monster from your graveyard, except this card, especially summon this card from your graveyard. But banish won't leave the field, so it comes back right away. That's why it says when this card is Synchro Summon, it doesn't say why um, this card is summoned. Because then this would have been too busted and it would never have been $10. But now it's a $25, $26, $27. It does have a reprint target in its back, but it's something that Dragonlance are going to be playing right now. And they have probably about 5 months of life left until this gets reprinted. So, I'm in the same boat with them. If you have this, and if you, you don't have this, I mean, you might if you're thinking of playing Dragonlance, you should have this. This is a mandatory card. You can pretty much add Levenir at, one, at whatever point, or any light or dark monster that's in there that you may need. Uh, speaking of Dragon Link, Rocket Tracer, I, it, I thought it was going to be more, but it's like $5 after shipping. I thought this was going to be more as it's an old structure deck. Um, I just thought Tracer was going to be at least like $8 or more. I just thought, you know, most people are only running one up because, you know, you can search it, you can add it, you can special it. So I see why, but I would expect this to be $8. Um, that's all. That's pretty much my take on that. Uh, Underworld Goddess of the Close World. It's a card that's going to see a lot of meta play in the coming up months. Um, that's just my take. That I think I have four copies already. I'm still, I still need, you know, five more copies to complete, complete my three play sets. Um, this is a card that I'm investing personally because I think this is going to be good eventually. Um, it's a nice little way to end up breaking boards if you're, if you can. Um... It's just a not it's a nice car that I think eventually it's gonna hit fifty dollars. That's just my take on it, that's just my insight. You guys can believe whatever you guys wanna do, but this is what I think. And these are person uh you know, these are opinions, so they're not facts. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It is what it is. That's why, you know, you guys buy at your own risk, you know. But I'm telling you guys that I'm picking this up because I want it. And plus it's a gorgeous artwork. I think it's classy. Classy artwork. Um, and they're currently dipping down. They're like 23 dudes. I thought this was gonna stay at 30 for the most part, but people are just people are just getting rid of them. Uh, they don't see. They're not seeing the potential of this card. And people like me, I'm picking them up because I think this has high, high ceiling potential. Uh, especially if this doesn't get reprinted like in a year and a half later. Like it has high, high potential. Uh, Speed duels. I recommend this a while, while back. Uh, because it's a lot, a lot of value. You can see Jinso going up and then Cosmic Cycle because they're not making this anymore. But you can use this in um, in regular Yu-Gi-Oh. It's just something to think about. If you have speed duels or you can find them, all this eventually will be 10 plus dollars. One thing I'm recommending and I'm picking up myself is Wing Dragon or Rot just because it's a secret rare and it's a, it's a nice little rarity. Uh, evenly match. Um, just, you know, it's just getting a reprint in, in Ghost from the Past and we'll see where that goes with it. So... Um, another ultra is welcome right now it's valued at 19 i can see it dip down a little bit to probably 15 it also bring dual power down just a little bit so you'll be able to get places probably around 40 dollars with deals of course uh online would be a whole different thing so if you can send offers etc etc uh dragoonity night uh day guard i think that's how you say that um this is a strike blast original they're like 80 dollars um, you do have all a lot other versions that you can play. I believe there's one getting reprinted in this set. Ghost from the Past. Oh, no, it's not. It's just the Battles of Legend. Yeah. So, you only play one of these anyway. So, the Battles of Legend is about 2 to $3. Probably 4 Close to $5, I believe. If I was looking at this. Oh, it's about... Eh, I'll say $4. Pretty good value so far. Uh, Dragoon Knight Barcha. Or Barco. However you say that. Uh, DTs are still $47, $48. Um, not need, it's not needed unless you're playing pure Dragoonity. That's all I'm saying. 
Boral Savage is a car that I was recommending a while, while back. Um, it's, it's like twenty dollars now. I was recommending this for ten dollars because I knew this is an Omni Gate. This is gonna be good eventually. It might not be good now, but it's gonna be good later. And right now, it's only a one-off in the extra deck, but just a twenty-one dollar card, a one-off. So good for the people that listen to me, right? Hot Rich Dragon Archfiend Abyss. It's a car that they're making, and surprisingly, the highest rated, which is High Speed Riders. It's only ten dollars. I would think this would be a lot more because of an old, old set. Um, original. You know, I would think that'll be a lot more money. But I understand he has the reprint from Dual Power. That's it's an ugly reprint. I don't like Dual Power Ultra. That's just me that you can get for like a dollar fifty. So um, that's a one off in the extra deck. I have two because I was I had two, so I just prefer the high speed riders, personally. Uh Dark Rune No More, it's close to fifteen dollars. It gets there soon because not a lot of people can uh, afford droplets. And the best next thing is Dark Lord No More. It's like a $15. So $45 for a play set um, if you're really thinking about it. So it's a good, good card to break boards. Dimension Shift is going to see a lot more play now. The Dragoon is going to be in their meta. Something that I would recommend if you don't have yours already. It's like $350 plus shipping. You have do have a $39, a $59, a $17 wall here before they hit $5. So you can get your play sets fairly, fairly cheap. Um, it's a card that's going to be good. Uh, remote duels or locals if this is a good card uh, Ghost Belt and Haunted Mansion are the good card Unlimited are being $36 while first editions original are like $50 flat um, this card is going to be good for the most part later on plus it's one, it's going to be one of our staple cards eventually you do have other other versions dual power maximum gold ultras but they're all pretty much like $3 plus so Something you need to know about, just know they're going to hit $5 eventually. I'm trying to do this fast for you guys, since I took a little bit of time to talk about cards. Uh, Ash Blossom and Joy Springs, just know the Unlimited are like $65, while your first edition near Mints are pretty much $100. Uh, card's going to be always around, and as long as this card keeps getting a reprint in lower rarities than a secret, it's never the secret's never going to go down. Until we get an ultimate rare of Ash Blossom, then the secret rare will start dipping down. And it may not even dip down at that point because Maximum Crisis is old, old set. Uh, Infinite Impermanence, we're seeing here Infinite Impermanence Originals on Limiteds are $55. And if you want a first set edition, I think this still costs you about $70 for moderate play. Um, about $80. We'll say $80. Mm, yeah, we'll say $80. We'll just say 80 for or OG Imperms. Yeah, you if you don't have yours, you might want to. And lastly, but not least, we talked about evenly matched. Um, originals are pretty much $40. Quickly going to $45 and $50. Uh, back to Impermanence, you do have other copies. I wouldn't recommend Impermanence uh, for the most part because I feel like this will get another reprint later. But if you definitely need them, by all means, they're going to start creeping down even the maximum gold it's going to reach 25 probably $30 even, um, as people need playsets of this. Same thing with Evenly Match. I believe people need playset of this. So, this is Circle Break Evenly Match Originals is eventually going to hit $70. $70, $80 because it's going to be highest ready. So, it's up to you what you want to do with your money. But, if you have the extra bread from your Steamy check, by all means. Well, that's all for the video. It's a long video. Thank you all for watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you liked my little video. And remember, stay tuned for tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and the day after after tomorrow for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Thank you all for watching.